Hi, I'm going to give you a tutorial on how to create a sun in Maya. So the first thing to do is create a 3D container with an emitter from the uh, fluid effects menu at the top. And as you can see in the perspective view here, the 3D container is there. And this is what contains the fluids. So as you can see the emitter is now emitting a fluid and not much is happening because it's just the default settings. So the first thing you want to do is, in the attribute editor at the top right, make sure the density is set to gradient and the center gradient option is chosen in the content method tab. So if you play out the simulation now, it doesn't appear to do anything, as all of the fluid is emitting at the same speed and density throughout. So uh, the next thing to do is adjust the drop-off shape to sphere in the shading menu so it will look like a sphere and not a cube which is the default setting and change the edge drop off to 0 0.1 which will make it more op more transparent around the outside so the, uh, <clears throat> the next thing to do is establish the colors of the fluids being emitted and we can do that in the color tab so select the color input to speed and the input bias to 0 0.28 and the next thing to do will be to add color bar so if you select a point on the color bar this color wheel option opens and you can select the exact color you want so because this is the sun we're gonna go with the colors red yellow and black But of course, you can go with any colors that you want, but for this, for the purposes of this exercise, we want these colors, as they're the most realistic for a sun, even though we see white light when you look at the sun. This is what we'd see if we were in outer space. So once again, if you play out the simulation, nothing happens, because the speed and density is still emitting at the same rate. So what we need to do is adjust the turbulence, strength, and frequency for this to show. So this is in the Contents Details tab under Turbulence. Let's change the strength to um, 0 0.1. And we'll change the frequency to uh, 5. So if you play out the simulation now, you can see something happens, and it looks pretty good. It's uh, not quite detailed enough, so if we select the container, and then go to the uh, Container Properties, and then uh, untick the uh, keep voxel square box and change the resolution to 30 in all the x, y and z axes this will increase the resolution of the fluids which makes it look more detailed I mean we can go higher and the higher the better but it also slows down the computer so we don't want to do that too much so the uh, next thing to do is to uh, adjust the turbulence motion of the sun so I've done that by increasing the velocity swirl so as you can see now the sun is more turbulent and there are more detail more details uh, going on in the sun so if we go to uh, the uh, texture tab which is down below here and if you uh, tick the box texture color we can change the amplitude by scrolling down here and selecting the value so we'll give that an amplitude of 2 and the frequency ratio can be 5 and we can change the frequency here to something a bit bigger 30 so now what what this will do is speed up the the sun even more and add even more detail as you can see here so uh, stop the simulation and uh, open up the attribute editor and uh, as you can see some of the details are a bit fuzzy so this is due to the shading opacity so under the shading tab which is here go down to opacity and we can see uh, if we in increase the input bias or decrease it it adjusts the transparency levels of the fluids so let's give it a reasonable value of 0 0.4 and we can just grab this little point here on the graph and produce the same effect pretty much so we'll just leave it here at this point here, and that's pretty reasonable for our sun. 
and there we have it. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to render it, but you can't see it because it's out of view of the window. But what I'm doing is I'm just rendering out the frame, which now is a still image. And what we do is we'd render a bunch of frames from say 1 to 500. And then we have 500 frames of video so we could put them together and we obviously if we um, render it as a PNG file there is a an alpha channel on there so we can put it onto live action footage without there being a black background which is what would happen if we rendered it as a JPEG because a JPEG has no alpha channel and what I'm doing here is I'm just changing the color just in case for whatever reason we want to create another kind of effect they not a sun, but maybe like a magic ball or some kind of effect. And if you want to change the color, then simply just change. Go back to the uh, color tab and adjust the colors to however you want. And if you want to animate this, all we need to do is select the container and the emitter and keyframe that so it moves. 